like, because I can't find my comb. Oh, your finger like stuck. <laughs> it did. It just like peeled off. So this gel is super sticky. Hey guys, it's Gibby. <laughs> and today, um, uh, my mom is going to be doing my hair. And it's going to be like, mom, it's going to be good like that. Yeah, in yeah. French braids that are just really common that. Uh, you see a lot of gymnasts do their hair like this for competitions. And today, we're just going to show what I do for meat hair. Um, you already need to know how to French braid yeah. to be able to do this. Uh, so, but I'm going to show how we, just the process of how I do the French braids so it holds really well for meat hair. And this hair will hold for a weekend. Yeah. <laughs> I could do it today and Sunday morning, it would probably still be in, even after practice yep. tomorrow. Because today's Friday. <laughs> it holds pretty well <laughs> with the gel, so, okay. Because we've got like this super, yep, this we've got super our whole strong gel. arsenal of hair <laughs> stuff. So, you ready to get started then? Okay. All right, so here we go. We're going to get started. So, Skippy's already showered today, so her hair is nice and wet. She's already brushed it out. And so, what we're going to do, oh, sorry. Okay, so we have some tangles. We use a little bit of detangling spray. We really like this spray, and it smells good. Well, my favorite comb is missing. So in a pinch, I'm using a different comb. And uh, not the one I prefer to use. This is just a pick comb, but it has a, it has a point on it, and that's all we really need. You're going to secure the other hair with a hair tie to keep it out of your way. Turn so you can see we've got a part and a pony, and we're going to work on this half first. Okay, so turn a little bit more this way. Okay, then next what you want to do is you want to get some really good, strong, yeah. really strong hair gel. <laughs> okay, so I go pretty generous, you can see that. Um, with the hair gel for me hair. What I like to do is a is a Dutch a Dutch Dutch braid. <laughs> there we go. Can you Dutch braid. Dutch braid. <laughs> okay, so I like to get it nice and tight. So I start with just a little bit in the front. And again, like I said, you'll need to know how to do either a French braid or a Dutch braid to do this style. And I just add a little bit at a time and since it's wet it's important that the hair is wet when you do this not just a little bit damp but actually really wet is really helpful because I think that helps kind of as it dries just kind of seals it all up Do you want them to connect in the back or do you want them to be separate? I don't know. You don't know? Someone's going to school. <laughs> yeah, she's going to go to school today, but we're just doing this for our video so you can see what we do. Okay, so today I'll leave them in two separate braids. Well, for the meats, we put them together a lot of times because uh, a lot of uh, competitive gymnasts, well, at least in our experience, um, the leotard that you get comes with a matching scrunchie, or sometimes teams have bows or ribbons and things like that, and you may only have one, so we'll put, end up putting them together in the back. But we so, have like three. Well, we have a collection. <laughs> okay, so turn so you can see that. Okay, then what I'll do, my comb is missing, but I'll use a brush. You can get just a little bit smooth up this way, just kind of puts the hair together a little bit, and um, then Skippy will turn again. again. All right, 
So we are nearing the bottom again. And just grab these last few. So if you have some little snarls, just kind of smooth them out with your fingers as you go. There's one there. And I think we're good. So turn, well no, actually turn completely back. Okay, so put your head back. So you can see the part, it's not quite as neat as we usually like, because I can't find my comb. Oh, your finger looks It did, it just like peeled off. So this gel is super sticky. So the next thing we would do would be hairspray. And we also have some really super strong, super, super strong hairspray. But I put a lot of gel in her hair, and I really don't think it's gonna move. <laughs> okay, so you can also use this for other sports. Uh, soccer game, softball. It just works well. Key is wet hair, strong gel, uh, brush it out really well, and yes, do it. Hairspray, <laughs> do it tight, and keep smoothing it out as you go along. And it's nice and neat. It's out of her cute little face. And we <laughs> hope you find this helpful, and you can do your outro. Bye guys, thanks for watching. Yes, like my mom said, I hope this video is helpful. And Remember to subscribe and leave a comment down below if um, like if you've done it before and if you tried it out, like if it worked, and I hope it did. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. And remember, keep on flipping and skipping. Bye.